Hey guys, I'm bringing you gameplay of Battlefield 4, and the reason I decided to show some Battlefield gameplay today is because I want to talk about Battlefield Hardline and my thoughts about um, EA pushing out another Battlefield game this year, even though another, even though one was released last year, and um, just my thoughts about the gameplay I've seen of Battlefield the Hardline, and and my thoughts about if the franchise were to become annual or go annual and just become a yearly thing. So. Uh, I'm gonna kick this off by just talking about Battlefield Hardline. Um, from the gameplay that I've seen so far, the game really doesn't look appealing to me at all, and it looks pretty um, boring and lame. My friend, um, he got into the beta of Battlefield 4, and he plays on the PlayStation 4, and um, he said that the game was, um, it was fun, but it was boring at the same time, and he said that he would not buy the game, and he said it's definitely not worth $60, and he said that it could have uh, been, and I personally think as well, that it just could have been DLC for Battlefield 4, and it just could have, you know, costed like 20 30 or $15, but instead they decided to make it a full game. So, um, my friend thought it was, it was not worth it, and personally I don't think it's worth it either to be a whole $60 game, and I just think that, um, it doesn't look cool and even though it's like about like cops and robbers and stuff um to me the game just um doesn't look appealing at all and i don't think the sales are gonna be amazing for that game and if the sales are amazing for that game and if they do happen to like top battlefield 4 or even battlefield 3 i'm gonna be really surprised because i just feel like this game won't sell very well and will most likely sell less than battlefield 4 so um um, let's see, from the, de from the developers, um, the people who are making the campaign for Battlefield Hardline are Visceral Games. If you don't know who they are, that's the devs of the Dead Space series, so they're, uh, making the campaign for that. And then Multiplayer, DICE is making the multiplayer for that, but, um, even though DICE is making the multiplayer for it, I just feel like they're probably, or they have another game going on in the background somewhere, their studio that they're making on that's going to be even better and bigger and... Maybe they're making Bad Company 3 right now, maybe they're making another Battlefield, like Battlefield 5 or something, but um, I just feel like uh, EA just decided to push this game out to just make more money. But they have said that this game has been in development for three years now, which which I guess is cool, but surprising at the same time. But um, yeah, so DICE is helping out with this game for the multiplayer, which is like pretty much the main part of Battlefield, but Visual Games is making the single player. So we will see how the game turns out in the fall, because it's coming out in October of this year. And um, I unfortunately did not get to try out the beta because um, by the time I, you know, checked uh, to see if I could download the beta, it turned out that now um, DICE made it so that you had to sign up online on their website in order to get into the beta. So I decided, you know what, screw it, whatever. So um, yeah, I didn't get into the instant access download beta but um, because I was busy with school. But um, yeah, so I haven't played the game for myself, but I've seen a lot of footage of it. My friend has played it and he's told me about it. So um, yeah, I don't think the game's going to sell very well. And I think it'll just do mediocre, and um, I th just think it could have been DLC. So, um, what's crazy when it was when I f when I found out about this, it got leaked, right? This this game got leaked, and then EA decided to announce it early and then show off stuff of it um, at E3. Um, what surprised me was that this game was coming out in 2014 because Battlefield 4 had just come out in 2013, and the Battlefield series isn't known to just happen like year after year after year, like how Call of Duty is like every year. So this is pretty surprising that last year we just got a Battlefield game and now this year we're going to get another Battlefield game. And um, I really didn't like that. I don't want Battlefield to become an annual, come in annual installments because um, I like it how it's spread out and spaced out because it just gives the developers more time and um, to just polish the game more and just not feel rushed and feel like the game's just being pushed out for money. Um, so I don't like the fact that, like, and that's another reason why I don't want to get this game too is because I want to kind of boycott with my with my money that I don't support Battlefield becoming a yearly thing if they do happen to make Battlefield a yearly thing, but I just don't support them having another Battlefield game this year when they just had one last year, so I'm just going to um, boycott it by just not getting the game because I don't support them having another Battlefield game coming out just when one had come out last year. So um, I don't I don't like that at all, that, that they're making another one come out so soon. Um, that was one of the cool things about Battlefield and what made it so special is that it's, it was spread out, whether it be within two years or every other year or, you know, a couple of years. So, um, so, and I think EA did rush DICE as well to make, to push out Battlefield 4 because Battlefield 3 had come out in 2011 and then Battlefield 4 came out in 2013. And I think that's a bit fast for DICE as well because, um, I mean, there was quite a gap between, well, Bad Company 2 came out in like 2009 of March, and then Battlefield 3 came out in like October 2011. So I guess that's like kind of the same gap between the, between Battlefield 3 and Bad Co. 2 and Battlefield 4, but I don't know. I, 
like, because I read a YouTube comment somewhere, I don't know if I should trust it or not, but they said that, like, EA had rushed DICE to push out Battlefield 4, that's why the game's broken and has so many issues and stuff, but I just, maybe that's true, but I also feel like the reason it has a lot of issues and stuff like that is because the game is on so many platforms, like it's on last gen and current gen, so, yeah, but, yeah, I don't like that Battlefield is becoming annual, I just, uh, don't want it to turn out like COD and, like, you know, get run into the ground and... Um, for people to be like, oh, another year, another battlefield, or, you know, for people to get... I just don't want them to, like, uh, make the fans tired out and feel spent, and, um, you know, just, like, um, push out the game so much every year that people just get tired of it. I don't want them to kill it. But at the end of the day, I do know why um, another Battlefield game is coming out this year, and it's because EA just wants to make more money, because they love money. And um, this is and just putting out another game this year with the name Battlefield on it will make a lot of money because Battlefield is a very popular franchise and a lot of people are fans of it. And um, it usually tends to make a lot of money. So just putting out another game with the Battlefield name on it will make them money. So um, yeah, they're just doing it to make more money and just doing another one exactly a year later will um, get the money faster instead of having to spread it out um, over a couple of years. So um, yeah, anyways, guys, that's my thoughts about Battlefield Hardline and if Battlefield would become a manual franchise. Guys, um, thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and like the video. I really appreciate it. Alright, bye.